Okay, so we're here. We're we got a new product here. It looks like an iPad 2, right? Or so. iPad, iPad 2. All right, what do we got? Let's check it out. Oh, wait a minute. It's something better. It's a Nook. This is our video number two on this Nook, and um, just kind of wanted to do a little bit of a maybe a better video. The other one was just kind of at the end of the day thing. So, what is it running there? Android 2.3 something. Yeah, 2.3.3. So is that our home screen or? Yeah, this is what comes up when you flash the OS. Okay, so this isn't the standard OS that comes on these things, right? No. No, you get the, what is it, the Barnes & Noble e-reader? Yeah, it's its own proprietary Android OS. And did you do any customizations with this No, nope, this is out of the box. It already comes with the dock uh, okay. preloaded into the operating system. Okay. The only modifications I made is I changed the icons that I wanted displayed. Okay. Is it pretty easy to do that? Yep. You just hold and then you drag them off if you want them on there and if you want to leave it there and just leave it there and tap out. Okay. So is this like the cell phone version of Android or is this a special one for tablets? The core is 2.3 for cell phone, but then they added a custom launcher with this uh, bottom row for the tablet edition. Okay, cool. But other than that, it is the phone edition. Okay, cool. Now, in the last video, I hid your dock. How did I do that? You tell me. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm special. I just know how to fix it when that happens. <laughs> that works for me. Yeah. All right, so, like, you can get to the market and everything, and can you install, like, the same apps that are on the Android phone on yep. this? Okay. Um, there is... When the market updates the new version, it will check for compatibility, and you're really limited to what apps you can solve. But if you uninstall the market update, it doesn't check for compatibility, and then you can solve whatever you want. Ah. There's a fix around it. I just haven't done it yet. Okay, that's cool then. All right, so like, can you take us through like I don't know some menus or something? I guess I should check that. Maybe take us through some menus or something like where your apps are and kind of what it looks like. And uh, it's pretty much just like using the phone. Okay. The, your apps are the four boxes. Go through whatever you have on there. Oh, it really? does switches over. Switch now. over. That's cool. Now will it switch over on all directions too? Yep. Awesome. It's pretty quick too. The only direction it does not go is upside down. So. Oh. Oh. All right. So can you still read books on this thing? I can. Uh, you can install the Nook uh, Android application. Aha. Uh -huh. And turn it back into an e-reader. Okay. Um, you can edit your Google Docs on here. Evernote displays nicely if you use that as a filing cabinet. Okay. Angry Birds. Definitely Angry Birds. And now you've used this and you've also used probably the HP the uh, OS, touchpad. The Slate. Now how do you compare that to this OS? I think the Android OS is more responsive. There's more you can do with it. Okay. I kind of agree. I mean, from when when I was playing around with them both, and it's not discontinued. Yeah, <laughs> true. That's um, good. Your notifications still show up even when you're in app. Okay. So someone wrote something on my wall. I got new email from my Gmail account and another Facebook notification. So that's cool. Then it, then you could probably connect to Exchange and. Yep, and I've got it set up for my corporate account, corporate Exchange account. <laughs> And then I've also got my Gmail account on there. Sweet. Calendar shows up. That's good. All right. Now, how about battery life on this thing? This is my third day running, and I've still got quite a bit left. You haven't charged it? No. Nope. Wow. That's pretty good. And how often have you been using it? Um, on average or something? I use it all day Sunday. Type an email. Hmm. Do some web browsing. Nice. Stuff like that. Now I always have a question about these tablets. Now, it's got Bluetooth on it, right? It does, but this ROM is disabled. Oh. Because there's no driver support for it, but there are ROMs where it is enabled. And do you think you can you can connect a, like a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse? Or is there any way to maybe get a keyboard at least onto these? You can... Keyboard and mouse work. Okay. How? Through Bluetooth? Okay. <clears throat> All right, cool. Yeah, so you get the Bluetooth driver... There's a lot of Android apps, and if it doesn't, you can also install BusyBox and have the BusyBox run an emulator. What is that? It's like a Linux toolbox. Hmm. Okay. Um, portable movie player. If you're on the go, like I go to Chicago a lot. I'm on the train for three hours, so I loaded up the movie to watch. 
I like how it is pretty responsive just going through all this stuff. And you can watch Netflix and stuff on this too? It does have Netflix if you install the APK. Okay. Um, yeah, it has good. volume. It's got a three and a half jack. Sweet. And the price on these are pretty uh pretty good, if you ask me. Yeah, two fifty retail, one eighty refurb. And we did refurb since we were just doing it for text. Uh, it does support ABG wireless. Okay. No N. No N. Not yet. That's all right. Hmm. Well, that's cool then. All right. So this one we're just going to show one more little thing here. This is the e-reader. Now, is, is this the Barnes and Noble? This is a third-party one. Oh, okay. Nice. That's cool. The color's nice too. It's easy on the eyes. Aha. I'm blind. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So I turn it down just because less direct light into the eye. Yeah. Makes it a little easier to read long term. Won't give you headaches. Yeah, exactly. Right. Also text size can go up and down. Nice. You don't have to scroll or anything crazy. Nope, and then you can either tap the side to change page, or you can. Ah, the famous slide. Do the side. Awesome. Well, cool. And what's the name of that one? This one's El Deco, I believe. Yeah, El Deco. Okay, cool. All right. Anything else you can think of while we're here? Other than some just fun games, it's a good size to play with. Yeah, it fits in the hand nice. Like, for example, this game. It uses the accelerometer well. Racing Moto. And it's got the abs. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> So if you see a deer and you accidentally like throw the nook across the room because you're trying to avoid a deer. <laughs> and you'll know what's happening. That is pretty good. That's responsive. So you know it does that pretty well. Wow. Cool. Very cool, man. Well, thank you for showing us that. Oh, you got one more? One more. What is it? Oh, it's not going to be able to connect. Never mind. Ah, boom. <laughs> That's the, uh, the mouse keyboard oh, from the, the media RDP. center. Oh, Master? Yeah, so, uh, remote droid. If I had an IP to connect to, yeah, I guess I'll still show it. So that's the mouse. For so here's my mouse pad. Left, right click. Oh, for your media center. For my media center. Ooh, now that, that appeals so to me. Connect to the same Wi-Fi network. Go by IP, run a little server. There's a little Java app on the media center side. And then you have this at your couch. Oh, man, I'm going to have to get with you on that. Yeah, I'm going to have to get because the cell phone, you can do that on the cell phone too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get with you on that. It's awesome. really nice for that. On the cell phone, the keyboard, you're gonna like retract it or put it, pull it up when you need it. But on here, it actually it sizes things well. That's really cool. So you can use that. So you don't need a, a an old school remote. You just use something like that. Exactly. Awesome. There's other there's other media center apps out there too. Like if you have Xbox Media Center, it's they have dedicated remote control applications just to make it life easier to go through their menus. So awesome. it comes in handy with that. Yeah, that's cool. We're gonna do that. Yeah, then. it's that's a lifesaver. I'm working on that this week. <laughs> Thank you, sir.